So for some reason, and I just really have to show you this, I I really like this picture of Ice Cube, like when he's fishing. Like just look at that face. Like just so it's such a happy little little fella. It just warms my heart. But anyway, on to week. I'm not sure if this is week tw tw 10 or 12, but the title will tell. Welcome. I will now showcase the features we have been working on this week. First and foremost, and the most visually striking feature is the new light attack animation that I made today. It's a bit more dramatic than the previous one. It's a bit quicker and it has a lot more reach, which was, those were two things that people really wanted when we did the demo. And what I really like about it as well is that it's a lot more even than the previous one. So when you, if you tap it, if you tap attack, it goes like, dish, 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 instead of before it used to be like, you couldn't really predict as well when the hits would land. So if I move on here, you will see that the pathfinding does not, does now work. I can shake these enemies off me. Yes, you will see that this other other enemy goes up and around the ceiling to chase me. Which was in vain since I knocked his ass. Or kicked his ass, rather. I believe I can actually hit him from up there. So. You can press down to fall through platforms, which was another thing, neat thing to have that people wanted. And as you might have been able to tell already, the map is now divided into combat zones. So I actually have to kill all these enemies in this current zone to proceed. The police now actually hits you when you're in front of the shield, which was another thing. I just adjusted his melee range. So now you will see in a little arrow indicating that I can progress. So this will prevent users from simply running across the level. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. It's kind of forcing the player to stay on track and kill all the enemies. Instead of exploring. We might look into a more creative way of forcing the player to fight the enemies. Instead of just running through the level. The gun does currently not work as it did before. You cannot you can no longer you can no longer shoot single shots. You have to hold the left shift button and and then spam press the shoot button. So right now this is pretty overpowered, but we plan on implementing limited ammo, so you actually have to if I shoot up my, all my, my, let's say it's, it's a magazine of 7 shots, I have to wait for 15 or 20 seconds or whatever until the magazine is refilled. And you hear a little click sound to notify you that it has reloaded. Uh, the boss is now currently completely unbeatable. As I, will, as I will show if I can find out what the jump button is. Already starting out really good. Yes, yes, so as you can see here, my hits do not do any knockback anymore. Which means that he will, he will most... He will de definitely use melee attacks. I think the game has fucked up, but whatever. The boss will currently... Why is there two of me? Okay, this is a unique little thing, <laughs> a unique little insight into how the game works. But anyway, what I was going to say is, so I changed it so you can no longer do any knockback to the boss. And since he will always do his melee attacks now, uh, if you don't knock him back, he will not reset his melee timer. Which means he will continuously attack you with your win, re win range. This combined with the fact that the lightning attack, the AoE attack that he does occasionally, has about half a second of wind-up, you cannot prepare for that attack. If you are mid-attack, you if you if you are currently in the middle of your light attack animation, 
you will not have time to jump out of the way or or dodge so you're pretty much stuck you will get hit regardless hopefully by next week by the next demo that we do we will fix this by simply making the wind up for the lightning attack a bit longer now that is it for me uh, one thing I apologize for putting up these videos bi-weekly instead of weekly as I said I for as I early on said I would uh, there has been a lot of stuff to do with school and with finals but hopefully I will be on track again by this week we have a lot of stuff to do primarily bug fixing and just general tweaking to make sure everything feels more satisfying and then we hope to release the next build by the middle of next month so that's about three or four weeks and you guys will be able to play it and determine if the changes we made have been suitable for you and made the game more intuitive and well well if nothing else more satisfying to play I really want I really want these attack animations to feel more like like you're actually physically hitting something and it's, it's gonna satisfy your primal cravings for violence uh, but, but with that said hope to see you next week thank you this has been Alexander signing off